Okay, here we go. First thing I've got to do, I've already taken the dust cap off, and I've got to get that little um, cotter key out. Before I do that, I'll go ahead and take the brake caliper off. I don't ever actually film any of this where I'm physically doing the repair today I figured I'd do something a little bit different and actually show it in process and I'll spread these calipers out a little bit to where they'll go back on a little easier when I get ready to put the brake caliper back on and that's the brake caliper off now usually all you've got to do Get over here where you can see it. But usually, all you've got to do is push these off and take that out to change the front brakes on your vehicle. I did actually think um, that I'd wind up having to change the brakes today, too. And I've got a set of um, A set of ceramic brake pads to go back on it. They're high performance. Uh, a lot of people swear that you shouldn't use them, but I've actually had quite a bit of luck with them. I tried them out one time. They're more expensive, but they last a lot longer, so they're worth it. Not to me, they are anyway. Just if nothing else, so for the fact that I don't have to change them that often. Right. I'm trying to get this cotter pin out without bending it or breaking it. And it's a little little screwy there. I'll straighten that out here in a little bit. I always keep it in the little dust cup. And I'm gonna have to repack that because half the bearing grease that's on it now is really old. So I basically need to clean them and uh Oh boy, yeah, there it goes. I'm gonna need to clean the bearings and repack them full of grease. Part of the reason I'm doing this little uh, repair or whatever you wanna call it today is because riding down the road, when you hit 70 miles an hour, it develops a really hard thump in it. Just to let go of the, go of the washer. Yeah, I'm gonna have to clean that off. And now these, you want to be nothing. Laundry won't help. These you want to be real careful with, not to get any dirt in them. Uh, these actually look a little bit burned. Which tells me they've gotten hot a couple of times. Of course me wiping them with this don't help any. Yeah, maybe that was just the grease on them. I'll burn up grease, but they need need some new grease on them anyway, so. And you want to be sure not to touch the face of the rotor, because that's where your brakes ride, and if you get grease on them, you're not stopping. Uh. Ha -ha. That's not good. Okay. Now, like I'll show you, this thing, this right in here, is the speed sensor gear. Which would mean this is your actual speed sensor right here. Let's say that's a 12 or a 13. I'll 
Yep, 13. A little extension here for some extra leverage. Loosen it up first and then we'll take it off. This is the farthest I've ever been into the front end of this truck. Never really had to do anything else to Um, basically, finished packing the bearings, packed the inside of the hubs uh, pretty well full with the, uh, the grease also. I uh, got the outer bearing that I already showed you cleaned up and packed back full of uh, grease also and packed it in there, cleaned up the washer that goes on it, packed that back in also. Here's the old castle nut that the cotter pin goes through. It's cleaned off, but probably should have hit it with some. You don't really have to tighten this down all that tight. Now I am going to give it a little snug. And I'm probably going to have to back off of that to be able to put the cotter pin in. Make sure this cotter pin's good and straight so it'll go back down in there easy. You got to go fishing for the hole. Like I said, if you've got to loosen it up that's to, for the cotter pin to fit in there properly, that's no big deal. If you'll notice, there's no. Uh, hard grinding noise in there like there was before. I don't know if you're if I was able to if the camera was able to pick it up before but it sounded like sandpaper in there before now it doesn't. Okay. Start it down in there good and we'll turn it to where it'll slide down in the groove in the castle nut. Tap it down flat before you do anything else. And you just grab it, bend it up, and back out of the way. Clean out our dust cap. Just a little bit in the end of the cap. And you want to make sure your cap seat is cleared off good. Go ahead and line that up. And it didn't start in straight for me, so. But these should not be that hard to put in. They are a hard press fit. So. you got to hit them even, but you should be able to do them just like that with the, the butt of your hand. All we've got left to do now is put the brake caliper back on it. There we go. I guarantee you that's probably about three or four pounds over torque just based on what I know. There you have it. It's all back in place. We'll get these tires rotated and I'm done. Check you later. Thanks for subscribing. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. I appreciate it. And I'll talk to you later.